If that rope breaks, I'm out of here. and welcome back to Build A Lot Acres. As you can probably tell, I'm here with the old senior Build A Lot. And today we're gonna to be taking down a tree in front of his blueberry bushes. Stay tuned. So we got this nice big eight by five or so work box in the forks. We used to use this all the time when we built houses. We used to stand in it and do work on the side of the house rather than having to set up staging. So let's have Brett go over what we got in the box for this job. So first, most obvious, chainsaws we're cutting down big branches cutting down a tree you're gonna need chainsaws that's pretty obvious second we have this rope with a beanie bag on it and this is so that you can throw it over a branch chuck it over the branch and then it will stay there and so that you can then tie this special high tensile strength rope to it it down this is special meant for trees and other big heavy things so that it won't break when you pull them and then next we have oil because or bar oil because bar oil you always need it and then after that we have chainsaw gas so the tool for the job is going to be this 1966 american road equipment all-terrain forklift it has an international harvester engine and I believe it goes up around 38 feet. You can pick up, you know, the main arms, and then you also have the carriage that goes up straight up and down separately by itself. But they work pretty good. You can see it has all these counterweights in the back to offset the front load. But at one time, we actually had four of these all-terrain forklifts. Some of them were bigger and telescoped, and then we had other ones that were smaller like this. So I believe that's the tree right there that he wants to cut. He's got about, I don't know, 24 blueberry bushes or so inside that enclosure. And he's worried about this falling on it, so he wants to take it down. So that will be this morning's project.
safety first. That one felt like a rock. Definitely swing. I just don't know if it'll be all the way to avoid this corner. You know, pull as high as I can, but. So, what do you want to explain, Dad? Quite a bit. Where are you going to make your face cut? What do you want to explain, Dad? Should we swing it the other way? I think if you swing it the other way, more apt to. I think it's definitely going to hit the. You, it, you have to go up in that hill with too many trees in the way. No, your best bet is just to pull up this way with the boat or just dump the clutch hope for the best. That's really going to be your best bet. It is. I would try to get it to go that way. Why don't we hitch it right to the back hole? What do you think? I say we should put it to the... thing is you want to pull it, but you don't want to pull it too hard. You need it. You pull it too hard. You Rope snaps. The and then you're screwed. Well, you could pack the back hole and get some tension on it. Yep, then what about the garage? It's gonna miss the garage, but it's gonna hit this way. You ain't pulling it all the way over. It's going to end up being straight this way. You ain't going to pull it all the way over. Dad, I think the viewers want to know why you tied four knots on that rope instead of just one. Well, I'm no Boy Scout, so I want to make sure these knots don't come undone. <laughs> Fair reasoning indeed.
here's the deal. This tree is leaning towards this blueberry bush. We're cutting the notch here, not here, because we plan to have it go this way and just miss the blueberry bush. Just to the left side, if everything goes well. When I cut, I will be cutting this side first, this side last, because it swings. I'm planning to swing the whole tree as Casey pulled to the back off. It's gonna swing and just miss the blueberry bushes. If everything goes right, if it doesn't, we fix the blueberry bush cage. The other thing is if you notice, I cut around here, always cut around so you have an exit plan because if that rope breaks, I'm out of here. nice yeah so originally if you just cut it it would have fallen from there right onto the blueberry bushes but now because he twisted it he cut it the tree fell here nothing's in the way nothing's harmed good job seeing you build a lot thank you showing your cutting skills Whew.
Um, as for my grandfather, I'll spare him the dignity and I won't tell you his age, but he's pretty old to be cutting wood like he is. He is active for his age, he's fit for his age, he's uh he's just healthy, he really is, and uh he likes working outside which is good. You know. Yeah.
guys thought I was bad. I think he's got at least 20 quarts of wood here. pile of red oak logs is actually from the same place where I got mine from the video you've seen with my log pile and I said that one of them hit the coyote that's the same logs you've also got this giant ash this thing tired to probably tell but it's at least three feet across this used to be in the back of his house Just like I build a lot of acres, there's no shortage of cute projects here at Senior Build a Lot Acres. He's got this old trolley that was used to take engines out. And he's looking to make an A-frame out of it to store some wood. He's also got this pallet woodshed that he made. He actually made this one, uh, let's see, it was before my pallet garage, but after my other woodshed. But he's got a big property here. I think he's got about nine or nine and a half acres. Quite a bit of it's lawn, probably at least one and a half to two acres. What do we have here? Get a better view of their blueberry patch like i said i think they have 24 bushes it might be 28 i don't know but they get gallons and gallons of blueberries every summer they also have these apple trees which are you can see getting blue buds on them now my mother really likes gardening and vegetables and fruit and all that kind of stuff but fortunately she's really sick right now so she has a beautiful property here Thanks for watching, everyone.